Hey girls, Kaylee here. So I thought because I uploaded my video on how I give myself a blowout, it would be good to talk about hair dryers and like what I've used and what I like and what I think you should look for in a hair dryer. I get a lot of questions about various different um, hair tools and people wanting to know what I think and what I like and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys about the three um, hair dryers that I've used and I like. But first I'm going to start off by talking a little bit about what I think it's important to look for in a hair dryer. I also want to say that um, I think people kind of underestimate estimate blow dryers often. I think people kind of don't take them seriously. They're like, it, it blows air on my hair. I don't really have to, you know, think about it too much. And I used to say that all the time too. But then I started thinking about it and I was like, you know what, I don't flat iron my hair every day. I don't curl my hair every day. But I do blow dry my hair pretty much every time I get out of the shower. And I do it in a way that, you know, now I do it in a way that I think helps to keep my hair healthy, but it is very easy to damage your hair with your hair dryer depending on, you know, how you're doing it first of all, you know, using your hair dryer, but also if you're using a hair dryer that's not really conducive to helping with your hair. So these are some little tips and tricks that I think can help you to find a hair dryer that's going to help keep your hair healthy. First of all, I recommend a hair dryer that's either ceramic or ionic. The reason why I like ceramic hair dryers is because the heating element in the hair dryer is actually ceramic so it produces a much more even heat and one that's a little bit less damaging to your hair. A lot of times with irons you get, especially cheap irons, you get like plastic and metal heating devices that cause really uneven heat and can actually really scorch your hair. They're also working by pretty much trying to dry all of the hair off of the hair shaft, but you're doing it by using heat, so it's almost like boiling it off your hair shaft, which is kind of not good so that's something that you kind of want to avoid so thankfully a lot of the more budget hair dryers out there these days are ceramic so you can do that the next thing you can look for in a dryer is one that's ionic basically ionic hair dryers produce negative ions to help neutralize the hair now positive ions in the hair can cause two things first of all they can cause static we all know what that's like. Um, and then second of all, they can actually cause the cuticle layer to raise up. Now we've talked about this before. Hair is made up of three layers. The outside layer is the cuticle layer and it's like little shingles all laying around the second layer. And so when it's raised, it causes frizz and it causes tangles in your hair. But when it's laid down, it's smooth and shiny. So you want it laid down so that it's smooth and shiny and doesn't tangle as much. And obviously we never love static in our hair. So positive ions cause static, frizz, and frayed cuticles and negative help to lay it down and help to smooth your hair down a little bit. So you want the negative ones. They also do help to remove the water from your hair without boiling it off. It's instead of removing heat, it actually just kind of like pushes the water out of your hair. So that's a little bit better as well. It's not going to be as damaging to your hair. Alright, this next one is a little bit more common sense than the last two. Um, you want to look for a dryer that has multiple heat and strength settings, especially the multiple heat settings. I really do recommend finding one that at least has a hot and cold or a hot and warm option because you really want to be drying your hair on the lowest possible heat setting because amping up that heat on your hair really doesn't speed up the drying process all that much, but it does really damage your hair. Don't do it. Look for ones that have a lot of different options that are going to give you the ability to do that so that you're not always really, really heating up your hair because that is quite damaging. We have our very last thing, and that one is my personal preference, but it's to look for a dryer that has a more concentrated nozzle. And what I mean by that is that the nozzle itself is actually really small. And all the dryers I have to show you today are like that because I can't stand ones that aren't like that. Basically what a smaller nozzle is going to do is it's going to direct the air in a more focused manner so that it actually all the force of the air does end up on your hair. Now I think all of us have probably tried a dryer at some point in time that was either like a wider nozzle or just wasn't very focused or very strong. and it just just blew air everywhere. Like the dryer is making a lot of noise, but there's only like a tiny bit of air going on your hair. And that has always driven me crazy. Like I can never stand that in a hair dryer. So if you look for one that has a more concentrated nozzle, it's going to help you out a little bit because all the force of that air is actually going to end up on your hair other than like everywhere around you. And it's a lot less like a hurricane, so it is going to end up making your hair just a little bit smoother at the end of the day. Alright, now I'm going to launch into a quick little review of the three dryers that I've been using for the last two years. And um, some of them are a little newer than others, but over the last two years these have been the dryers that I've been using. And um, they're from three different price points. I have a $20 one, a $60 one, and an almost $200 one. So yeah, definitely 
spanning the different price brackets here because I know that I'm going to have different viewers in different places that some of them will be looking for one price point some of them will be looking for another so I thought it was fair to throw in all three. My first one is the Conair Ion Shine 1875. Alright as far as what this one has to offer it has three different speed settings and two heat settings it's also both ceramic and ionic so plus one for the hat. It's also really really lightweight which is great especially if you're going to be working a lot up here and doing a lot of round brushing on top of your head because that can get really really heavy really really quickly. This is actually the lightest of all the hair dryers I'm going to show you today and um, it lasts forever. Mine lasted me two and a half years so and it would have lasted longer if I would remembered to clean this little area out because this traps lint and if you always make sure that you clean this out and keep it lint free then your dryer will actually last you a lot lot longer so there's a little tip for you but um, basically I think this one's really good. It's only about $20. I'm going to link the Conair site down in the description box because it's the only one that I can find that sells it anymore. Um, but I think it's really, really good. So if you're really on a budget, you really only have like 20 bucks to spend on a curling iron or curling iron, hair dryer, um, this is definitely the one I would recommend. Alright, so my next one is by Hot Tools. It has two heat settings and two speed settings and a full cool shot button. It is turbo ionic, so I guess extra ionic? I don't know. And it has a very concentrated nozzle. And so between the turbo ionic and the concentrated nozzle, it actually dries your hair really quickly and it adds a lot of shine or in keeps a lot of shine. Either way, there's a lot of shine at the end of the product with um, this one and I really like that. When I went from using this dryer to this dryer, I noticed a huge difference because this one dries my hair so much faster and it actually added a lot more shine. And you can actually see the difference in the circumference of the nozzle. It's a lot. So this one was definitely a step up from this one when I started using it. I was really, really happy. It also comes with a concentrator and a diffuser, so if you want to use those, those are included in it. I really love that it's purple and it's got this cool like crepey finish. It's really really pretty. I think it was supposed to be limited edition um, but I did find one online so I'm going to go ahead and link it in the description box. At about $60 so definitely a step up from the drugstore but you can definitely see that step up in your hair. The only thing that I wasn't as big a fan of is that it does get kind of hot. Um, I just find that I hold it farther away from my hair so that it's not, you know, the heat's not right up on it. But even on the low heat setting, it gets pretty hot. So I do use the cool button um, in and out just to help try to keep it a little bit um, cooler so it's not quite as hot on my hair. This one I do think is really good. Just, you know, keep in mind that it can get a little bit hotter. So, yep, that's this one. And it is Jose Bear Infrared dryer. Now this one is my sub up as my last price point. Um, this one is really interesting. First of all, you've got your standard two speed settings and two heat settings and a cool shot button. What's really cool about this one is that it actually has an infrared light that shines out of here. If you saw it in my um, How I Give Myself a Blowout video, you saw the little orange light that goes on my hair. It comes out of here and basically what that does is it dries your hair from the inside out which is really really good for your hair. It speeds up the drying time so you're not blowing your hair around as much. It also helps to get rid of any chance of a hot spot or burn on your hair which is really 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 good. And then um, I love the heat settings on this because this low heat setting is genuinely a low heat setting. It's actually like like lukewarm. It's definitely not cold but it's not hot either. I love drying my hair on that one because I really feel like it's so much better for my hair. I get so much more shine and it dries so much faster with it there than with any of my other dryers. I just really 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 like it. Um, so yeah that's the what it does with that and then it actually has a little blue um, UV light that shines out of here and what that does is it helps to, it's antimicrobial so it helps to kind of cleanse the hair and to smooth the hair as you go apparently. That's what it says on the website. So um, I don't know, I don't know about that one. I mean it probably does what it says it does but what I've really noticed is that it dries my hair really well and I love that it's really not that hot. And actually right here does get really hot so if you like to hold your dryer right here you you might want to consider like pulling it back to about here because right here it does get really hot. But when you're blowing it, if you're blowing from about this distance, it's really not too hot on your hair. Um, but if you do want to be able to heat the hair up, you know, to create a style or whatever, you can just like plop it onto the top heat setting and hold it a little closer to your hair and it will get it really really hot if you want it to. So that's pretty cool. Um, what I do have to say is it's pretty heavy. It's the heaviest of the three. Um, so it's really, uh, it's a workout to dry my hair every day, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, my arms could always use more toning, but um, I think that's the only negative I have to say about it. It does come with two concentrators. Um, I forgot to mention that. 
comes with a really little one and a little bit bigger one. And then it has a pretty concentrated nozzle so it helps the air to go out. This thing, I forgot about that, it does blow a lot harder than um, the other two that I have. Like I was using this one and then like I took it out of my room to come film in here and then, or not out of, I took it out of my bathroom to come film in here and um, I was just lazy and I was like, oh well this one's still in my bathroom, I'm going to go ahead and use that. So I was using it and I like felt like it wasn't even blowing my hair at all. Now it blow like it was a lot stronger than the Conair one, but this one's a lot stronger than this one. So this one's really, really strong on your hair and it does a really good job of drying it really quickly and it's also really nice and quiet so you're not getting like a whole lot of noise. So that is this one. One of the big things for me is that I really want to keep my hair healthy. It's also kind of part of my job because I mean I do this on YouTube so I have to keep my hair nice and healthy. So for me with what I do and the priorities that I have it's very much worth it to me to invest in a good hair dryer. Um, so if you are in a similar boat and you feel like well I would like to invest in a good dryer um, first of all it's a good idea to invest in a good dryer so don't feel crazy for doing it. Um, and then second of all, I do think this is a good option. I do definitely encourage you to do your research and make sure you agree with me, um, but I, I am very, very happy with this dryer. Okay, so that's my thoughts on what to look for in a hair dryer and what I think about the hair dryers that I own. My very last piece of information is that the people at Jose Bear actually offered a 15% off their entire website code for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and link that little code or list it right here and then link it in the description box and link their website so you guys can check that out if you want to. Now I make nothing off of mentioning the product or you guys clicking on that link. I absolutely get nothing out of it. I just wanted to be able to give you guys something when they offered to put a coupon code up for you guys. I was so, so excited and I definitely said yes. Um, so that's all that is. Please don't think that I'm, you know, selling out or doing anything crazy. I really did just want to offer if you guys thought that the iron, the hair dryer that I do genuinely like sounded interesting or if you've, you know, been eyeing any of their products and wanted to try them for a less expensive price, then that's an option for you guys. So it, was, it really is just me wanting to give back to you guys um, because I love y'all and I am really grateful for you guys watching my videos and I'm hoping to be able to do more things like that in the future for you guys. And that's basically it. So I hope you guys have liked this video and found it helpful. I'm hoping you're having a fantastic day. I'll be back next week with more tutorials. Be sure that you're subscribed um, to, you know, get alerted when I post new tutorials if you're not already. And I think that is it. Um, I will see you guys in my next videos. Mwah! Bye!